Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. We've all heard of crisp packet buzzers, where they use certain colours within a crisp packet because of its colours, which can be used to make the cheeks of various buzzers. Well, I was after a particular colour not long ago for a body, and I didn't have it in my box. I had a pack of crisps in front of me, because I like them. A pack of Seabrooks, actually. Yellow in colour, with a lot of white. And I thought... I wonder if, so I got myself a scalpel, cut myself a length out, about two millimetres, and I used that for the body. Then I cut some yellow out and used that for the cheeks, or the, the neck as such. Whipped it off with a black head, and I thought, this could possibly work. I did another couple, I used a hurl of peacock feather, and that would be an emerger then as such. And I thought, right, I'm going to take them out. So I took them out to this place, fished them. And the results were quite good. I could have taken them to Pennine, but Pennines are heavily stopped water. So the fish would have hammered them, no doubt. I'm not saying Scout Dyke isn't heavily stocked, it is well stocked. But it's a bigger expanse of water. And it was a better test on the day, because all I wanted to do was test these buzzers. So this is how I got on. So at the start of each video, I'm going to uh, display the buzzer that was used but the peacock head buzzer only accounted for one fish and the black head buzzer accounted for five now you're only allowed to fish two flies at this point you can't do a big washing line system so i put two flies on under an indicator the dropper was situated about two and a half to three foot and the point fly was roughly about seven foot under the indicator because it is quite steep where i'm fishing that's why when I land the fish, I actually bring the net out of the water. If I was to lean forward and unhook the fish in the net whilst it's in the water, I'm putting myself at risk because where I am, as I say, is quite steep. And if I was to fall in, there's nothing to stand on. It's a slope straight away, so I'd be well under. So to avoid that, that's how I did it. And it was all barbless hooks anyway. The film footage gets mixed as well. I We've got a head camera and a bank camera. So you're not just going to get this view. I fished them for a short period of time, about two hours or so, just to see how they work. Because again, this film is just about the materials I used. Will they work? Because although it's the colours, all the buzzers are on a size 12 hook. And again, I think I might make them a little bit thinner. I think the heads are a little bit too fat. But that's for another day. The other thing is... Lots of people walk around here and they take an interest in what you're doing. I had a small family group come past and the boys were looking as they were landing the fish. So, so once I'd unhooked the fish, I let them come down, have a quick look at it and just explained how I caught it. So um, that's a small insight into fly fishing for them young lads. I met a couple of other people coming across the dam wall and one of them recognised me from my videos. So I gave him some of the, what I call now, cheese and onion buzzers. Told him how to fish them and hopefully um, he's gone on to catch something. If you did catch anything and you recognise who I'm talking about, leave a comment. But anyway, I'm not going to talk over everything. It's quite self-explanatory. I do apologise for the digger in the background on the other side of the bank. There was digging at something, making a right racket, but it's only background noise. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box. So I'll just let you sit back and enjoy the video. Self-explanatory. You don't want my boring voice over everything. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Coming up to nearly half a million views, which, to say, this is only about me and my days out. I'm not here to really teach you anything. I'm just showing the world what I get up to. And they must all look at me and say, what a boring lad he is. <laughs> well, end of day, I don't care. Anyway, but I do care for your comments, for you watching and you subscribing. So I'll catch you later. I will be giving these a go at Pennine. That will be a day to remember, I think, because I've proved the work now. See you later.
can see it. You can see it. You've got your dogs, I've got some rhino. Go okay.